If not treated, malaria can kill within 24 hours. Actually, it's the number one cause of uh, morbidity and mortality in this country. It's the leading cause over HIV, AIDS, TB, pneumonia, diarrhea, and so on and so forth. Signs to look out for may include a mild fever, headache, body aches, vomiting, and in worse scenarios, severe anemia, or even respiratory distress, especially amongst children. A child becomes vulnerable to malaria as early as three months old when her mother's immunity disappears. In Africa, shocking statistics from the World Health Organization reveal that a child dies every minute from malaria. Pregnant women are also at a high risk as well as people infected with HIV and AIDS. Malaria is caused by a plasmodium falciparum parasite, the most deadly compared to other types after a bite from Anopheles mosquitoes. It is rampant in tropical Africa. Under Global Fund, we expect to get uh, about 50 million uh, small kits, rapid diagnostic tests, RDTs, to be able to examine uh, any patient who may come with symptoms. Treatment also involves giving a pregnant woman preventive doses during her antenatal care in the last six months. Another approach is the integrated vector management of using insecticide-treated nets to prevent man-mosquito contact. The Ministry of Health is set on getting more nets from the Global Fund. Of course, the other donors will come on board to make us reach the strategy of one net for two people. Imagine a mosquito-free environment, later on, a malaria-free home. Maybe it's hard to imagine, but with new technology, your imagination can be changed. John Peter tries to convince us that his new gadget, the Gitrap, a malaria solution, is what will keep the irritating disease causing mosquitoes away. The idea was conceived when he was in Florida in the Everglades city in the U.S. Where it's very similar temperatures like here, but uh, even more wet and a lot of mosquitoes. People didn't want to come to the parties because there was so much mosquitoes. So we installed three of these machines and uh, after three months there was no more mosquitoes. We asked him how possible this was and he does not hesitate to give us an explanation. A little tablet that we put inside. This tablet makes it 10 times stronger than our smell. And, uh, and uh, to make this tablet come out, we use uh, propane. The propane intensifies the smell, promising the mosquitoes more blood in the git trap. They never make it out alive. Dead, they will not run back to the ponds to continue the fertilization process, where one mosquito lays 150 eggs. This, in a way, is similar to the larviciding method, where chemicals from natural plants or factories are used. We want to kill uh, the larvae before they become adult mosquitoes to propagate the uh, uh, production and uh, repl replication of mosquitoes. There are other, even electric uh, machines, which really come and burn them straight off. Science is developing. Uh, you can even use it, sterilize them. But some of these gadgets are costly and remembering the good old methods that have been at play for long comes in handy. Residual indoor spraying is still effective, but fears are that the mosquitoes are resisting the chemicals. We are working with WHO and other organizations that deal with the resistance. We, we know what to do. The malaria control program in the Ministry of Health is doing efficacy studies on drugs to test for resistance to the life-saving atomizinin-based combination therapies, SCTs. Finances are also, however, not helping the numerous preventive measures. Measures to find a vaccine have not been shelved. Right now, Uganda is currently um, piloting a vaccine eh, called TSS. So there are about three, four countries in this, on the continent which are using the same vaccine. So we want to combine the results and see what happens. But uh, this will be carried out especially in children below the age of uh, 18 months. There is one promising vaccine, according to a WHO report in the final phases, being tested in over 15,000 infants in sub-Saharan Africa, RTSS, developed through a partnership between GlaxoSmithKline Biologicals and Path Malaria Vaccine Initiative. Results are expected in 2015, and as the search gets bigger, there is one particular method that people continue to take for granted. Clear there are, there are areas where they reside, so water does not collect there to let mosquitoes breed and, and, and become a menace. And the Ugandan laws are in place to enforce this. 2000, Chapter 268, 
Article 1 to 90, the, the alluded to mosquitoes as a nuisance. If we are to invoke these laws, uh, I think it would be criminal for you to have mosquitoes around your, your, your environment. While countries like Armenia get certified by WHO to be malaria-free, most in Africa are nowhere near such a declaration. We can eliminate malaria in two, three years in this country. Because already what we've done in the past has shown that for almost eight months you can have an empty ward. Florence Olimba, NTV. If you went in...